Welcome to Scanny TV on YouTube once again. Let's see the latest updates coming in from the camp of Blockstars team, Blockstars players, and some few other updates you need to know. In this one, weekend is here again, and Blockstars players, they've already begun performing so well. So always I ask this question, what is the problem of the Blockstars team? Because the players are playing, and today we can see Elisha Usu, he scored, he assisted. If you watch Paris Saint-Germain versus Stad Ren, you get to know that Ali Duseidu, he was a super, super player in the game today. Fantastic. And we also talk about him. Jerome Opoku was also in action for his club side. Then we'll talk about the likes of um, Gideon Mensa and some few other players that we'll talk about in this one. Sadly, one player is injured. One key blaster player is injured. And we'll talk a little bit about him. Then one is also coming back from injury. And it is also a piece of good news. So we have, um, you know, mixture of feelings here. One piece of good news and one sad news. Let's talk about all these ones. We also top it up with Ashimeru speaking about himself and about Coach Otoado together with some few other ones. If you have joined me, do all the good stuff. Like the video, subscribe if you are new. Put us on post notifications so that you don't the latest update. You'll be the first person to get. And also enjoy. Leave your thoughts and comment in the comment box. And after watching the video, share the link so that others will also come here and enjoy the latest on this channel. I also do my best to give some shout out to those who commented under the last video. So stick and stay for the shout out. Now, let me begin from here. No time to waste. Quick ones. Let me start from AJ Observe says FC Brest in the French League One round of five, um, round of six, rather. I beg your pardon. In today's game, and it was AJ Observe three, FC Brest nil, and it was a good game. We had the likes of Elisha Usu. He scored the first goal for his side, AJ Observe today. On the 26th minute, it was an amazing goal that he scored for them. I'll try and leave the links to the goals and the assist everything in the comment box. I'll pin it down there. You know, you cannot joke with copyright of French League One highlights, so we cannot include it in the video. Sorry for that. But I'll leave the links in the comment box. I'll pin it down there after watching the video. Please watch to the end before you go and check out all those ones. Yeah, so Elijah also, he scored a super, super goal. It was a powerful drive from his left foot, and he made sure that his side will be leading on the 26th minute. It. This is his first goal in the, um, you know, League One. Yes, and it is also a great one for him. Now we had Juba who scored 37th minutes. Then Trari also added it on the 59th to make sure that the home team they will win by three goals. You know, Elisha after playing 90 minutes of football today, one goal for him. Then he also assisted a third goal. Lest I forget, on the 59th minute when Junior Trari scored. Elisha also, also assisted him. So after 90 minutes, one goal, one assist for the Ghanaian midfielder. 46 touches from him. 19 passes completed out of 26 attempts, which is 73%. One key pass from him. Crosses were two. One was accurate in the game. Long was he sent three and one was successful. Big chances created was one shot on target one. Then 10 ground was where he won six of them. Erod was he went in for two and one one. And this and few other stuff for his club side. That is talking of AJ Oxair today. He had a rating of 8.6. The highest in the game. As of the time recording this video, I don't know the man of the match. But I know it is definitely going to be the player Elisha Ousu Because today he was all over the page. The game changer for his club side. And it is also a good one for the deputy captain of AJ Oxe. Now, in the same team, we have Gideon Mensa. Gideon Mensa has been injured and out for a while. In fact, I brought you my Black Stars defenders and I didn't include him as part of the left backs. For now, I'm making my change here. I'm expecting Gideon Mensa to be a left back as well as Ebenezer Anand in the next call up. Yes, today he's back and he came on to do 24 minutes for his side AJ Oxe, where he was rated 6.6 .6 in the game. One clearance in the game, one tackle, two dribble pass, touches were 13. He gave seven accurate passes out of eight, which is 88%, and this and a few other things for his club side in the few minutes that he had in the game. So Gideon Mensa is now match fit, and he is playing, and it is also a good one. And someone asked me about Alexander Jiku. Jiku is still with, um, you know, talking of Fenerbahce, just that the last game they played yesterday, he didn't play a part. So that is it also on Jiku, but he's still with the club. So that I just had to chip that in. Now let me talk about PSG versus Stad Ren. As I said, I know you most of you guys who watch the game today. Ali Duseidu is that good, guys. He's good and consistency. His performance keeps on improving match by match. The last game for his side, he won the man of the match. And today, for his team, he was the highest rated player. And in the whole game, he was the second highest rated player. Tells you that Ali Du 
was everywhere. In fact, he even scored a goal. That goal was disallowed. And now uh, I felt bad because it was an amazing goal from Ali Dusedu in the game today. So it ended PSG 3, start run 1. Um, Kai Lee scored, um, you know, on the 58 minutes for them. Then Brady Bacola also added two goals in the game. Then we also had um, Kalimondo who scored on the 75th minute from penalty spot to get a consolation for the away side. Alidu, after playing 90 minutes, he was rated 8 out of 10. 8 is a great one for him. Then um, aside the 10, um, 8 rating, he also had clearances of 2. One clearance of the line in a game, then block shots were two, interceptions two, tackles three. Alidu continued to have 70 touches in the game, where he completed 40 passes out of 43 attempts, which is some 93% impressive from Alidu Seidu. He's in some good form. Ground wars, Alidu Seidu went in for 10 ground wars and won all the 10. 100% tells you that he was impressive. Possession loss were four. Fouls one, he was fouled five times. Then dribble attempts were two, or the two were also accurate. So, Ali Du, um, if not for his side losing the game today, he would have been the man of the match. See, he was he was just amazing, fantastic all over the pitch doing the defensive works. And, uh, guys, Ali Du, he's here to stay and he is here to give us some good performances. So, that is it also on Ali Du Seidu. Now, let me move to um, Turkey. Today, Silver Sport, they welcomed Istanbul Bashakse Hill. And Istanbul Bashakse Hill went away to win against Silver Sport by two goals to one. So, the sad news in here is Jerome Opoku, who played for the away side. In fact, he lasted 78 minutes. That is when he picked up a slight injury. I don't know the extent of the injury now. So, let's just take it like a slight injury. We have to wait for the club to come out with the extent of the injury. Then going forward, I will bring you a lot of updates. So stay and stay with me. But Jerome Bopoku did not complete the game today. He was just, just good, you know, his height, everything. Sometimes I wonder why he is able to run like that, be so fast with his height and everything. But Jerome, Jerome is impressing. 7.2 rating after 78 minutes, one interception, one tackle, then 52 touches. Where he completed 34 passes out of 40, which is 85%. Crosses was one. Ground was he went in for three and won two in the game. Erod was he went in for four and won three. Then um, he also continued to impress in some other stats that I don't really want to waste much time on in the game. Shamrock Rovers versus St. Patrick's in the Ireland, yes, um, Irish League. And this game was also tough. The away side, St. Patrick's, they went away to defeat Shamrock Rovers by three goals to none, where we had Redmond and Murani also scored a brace to make sure that the um, St. Patrick's team will win by three now. And St. Patrick's, we have our goalkeeper, Joseph Tete Anna, and I've been saying it, guys. Joseph Tete Anna is good. He's fantastic. And we have to be watching out for this boy. Coach Otwadi, if you are watching me, make sure you get Joseph Tete Anna because the boy, after he left Western United to St. Patrick's, he's been the number one and consistently he's keeping some good games. For the past two games, he's kept clean sheets in both games. Tells you that the boy is doing well and we have to be watching out for him. Make sure that he will come and play for Ghana. Else, by the time you realize, England will take him. Okay, so that is it. 90 minutes for Joseph Tatanan. Four saves in the game. High claims were two. 44 touches in the game today. 26 accurate passes out of 29, which is 90% for a goalkeeper. It's no joke that he also continued to give 10 long balls and seven were accurate in the game for his size in Patrick's. And that is it also for him. So, a lot of the players are playing. They are impressing. I know over the weekend we are going to get goals assist a lot but i keep saying or i keep asking what is the blast stars team's problem we have to find solution now a little bit on um yeah, majida shimeru yes he has also spoken um on his black stars journey and the club side how things are actually going for him together with coach otto Ado. according to him he's taking it step by step and now he's progressing after he played the last uefa europa league games again um, against finance virus this were the worst from the player as it was reported by flash score it has been good overall because last year i had too many injuries so i'm now coming up step by step overall i feel really good to play for this club the city and for the supporters i'm just hoping i can 
make the next step so according to him this season injuries are not many and he is now improving step by step he also spoke about Toado. he says um it feels really amazing to be able to be called because we have so many players out here in ghana that was when he was talking about his call up then he continued to say working with Toado is something i've been waiting for a long time having the time um to work with him i can say he's a good coach and i feel like uh, we have so many things to achieve together. It feels good to work with him. That is what he also added on Coach Otto Addo. So according to him, it feels good to work with Otto Addo. And he believes that we can all achieve some things together. Let me give some shout outs. Then I'll be out of here. If you have any thoughts on what he said, let me know it in the comment box. Shout out going out to Abdullah Idris. You commented under the last video. I appreciate you. Joa Ekwaji, thank you. I appreciate you. Ayan Fanatabi is also here. The most Morris, you are here. Abdullah Idrisu, okay. Um, Daniel Do, you are also here. Mr. Vordi, I appreciate you. Iman Obwaten, um, New Warbeck, Rufai Abdullah, thank you. Adepa1212 is here. Gabriel Amofa, you are also on this channel. Swanzi Kuje, I appreciate you. Then um, I have JFC Films, thank you. Omari Studios is here. Jason Grant is here. Um, Raymond McCarthy, you are also here. Princess Hearts, you are here. Felix Infojo, you also on this channel. Betty Johnson, Scantiwa SP, you came late. Thank you, I appreciate you. Imma8485, you also here. Then, um, who again? Let me move on. Ezekiel Dochedo, you also here. Elijah, um, okay. Elijah and Kingsley, yes, thank you, I appreciate you. Then, who again? Janka Town Movies, yes, you guys are doing amazing. Amit Jani, thank you for being here. Rufa Abdullah is here. Israel Agba is also here. Andrews, DJ Optimistic, Vosha Silvanos, Enes Tamethefio, Vosha Silvanos, you're also here. Enes Tamethefio, I've seen you. Hamid, um, you are also on this channel, okay. Kwejo Fodjo is also here. Then Blue View Capital is also on this channel. So these are all the comments under the last video as of the time I'm recording this one. Don't forget to always like the video for me, subscribe, put on the bell for more updates on this channel. This is Sunny TV and of course, we shall meet later.